Thanks for staying with us. So I have a story before we move quickly to another paper. They said um, another 1,455 legal state retirees have been have received four billion as pension payments, uh, being their past service benefits prior to the commencement of the contributory pension scheme in 2007, and this is making the 104th retirement bond certificate presentation. So the government had paid uh, over three billion to 1,000. 13 retirees in the 103rd presentation in February. And, you know, Governor Babajide Sohulu had promised that um, another 4 billion, you know, outstanding will be paid in March, while the government will try to clear out all the backlogs by April. And this is what is um, happening right now. I think this is really very good. People who have worked for their money deserve to be taken care of. Yeah. And I hope that other states will see this and, you know, pick up from there. Let's move on now to the punch. Major headline, CBN raises capital base for mega banks to 500 billion. So uh, they're celebrating the president here, and it's covered almost Legal all the page. page. Happy birthday to our president once again. We uh, need Buhari, to talk about that. Yeah, Buhari National Assembly. Songolu, others hail Tinubu at 72. Delta bloodbath, military may place bounty on monarch, others declared wanted. So did we take stories from inside the Okay, I took, um, the, because we, we had this back and forth myself and Mo yesterday on the assassination allegation against the RA on Okaka for Yoruba land. Mm -hmm. um, so <coughs> the um, Yoruba nation ad, uh, advocate, what's his name, Sunday Bo, mm -hmm. and the chief of staff to the governor of Lagos State had written a pre-action uh, notice to um, the area of Okaka for Iba Gani Adams you know, um, threatening that they will go to court if he mm. doesn't retract um, the defamation that he said, a uh, defamation um, audio mm. that was, you know, the levied allegations of assassination against them. So in that audio, the details are in this story, go and get the punch. And his insights, you know, claiming how they were paid to assassinate the area of mm. And this he could not substantiate. But because Mo had mentioned that the only had intervened, and I think Shukwala and I was like, no, this is defamation and it was more serious. Mm. The chief of staff to I the governor that. has withdrawn his intention to continue with litigation. And it, the letter was written by his lawyers to um, the Ariel Nokakafo's lawyer um, yesterday, withdrawing that. So that's mm. basically what the story is. Okay. Which other stories do you have in the punch? Um, I have the, I got this from inside the punch, is the Nigerian Customs Service. Um, in the unit zone B, Kaduna said that in, it intercepted bags of foreign parboiled rice, cartons of foreign spaghetti, unregistered organic fertilizer, mm. used cars, amongst many other contraband, worth 769 million in five weeks. Um, the report really is just stating, you know, the different um, contraband items that were intercepted and um, how much, you know, they would cost in, in the market. And, you know, and just saying that um, customs remain resolute and will not relent as there's no amount of trick or blackmail or orchestrated attack that will dampen their resolve. So, um, of course, as we know, when customs go to do their work, there are different ways that mm -hmm. they also try to make sure that they are unable to carry their work. Either they, you know, try and attack them and they're saying that nothing will stop them from doing what it is that they are meant to do. Okay. And, you know, if you're caught, the offender is liable to a fine of 2 million naira or imprisonment for a term of two years or both. So it says that to those diehard smugglers who sponsor mobs to attack our operatives and organize illegal demonstrations against us, they cannot and will not discourage and deter us from carrying out our jobs. Mm -hmm. Do we have another story in there? No, no, no. Okay. Let's move on now to the Daily Sun. Ningi draws battle lines with Abiyo gives Senate President seven days to reverse suspension or face legal action. Okoama, uh, defense headquarters declare professor seven others wanted, kills 212 terrorists and naps 252, rescues 244 abductees in one week. CBN pegs top banks recapital recapitalization at 500 billion and gives a two-year deadline. Intermediate and regional banks get 200 billion and 50 billion, respectively. Free journalist reveals harrowing ordeal in DIA custody. Mm. Then IPI, NGE, NUJ, mall action against CDI and CDS ask Tinubu to punish officers involved. Again, Bianca wins suit challenging Ojuku's will. 
So I have a story here. The House of Representatives uh, have said that they must recover two Bell helicopters, Bell 26L4BZB and Bell M261L4, which was belonging to the Nigerian College of Aviation Technology, NCAT, Zaria, and this was sold to private individuals. Now, Ademori Koye, that's the chairman, House of Reps Committee on Public Assets, said that the investigative hearing on the sale of the two helicopters in Abuja had resumed. It started on Thursday, and they said uh, they are concerned over the sale of the two helicopters to private individuals when the college was left with no helicopter for training, and they were questioning the process leading to the sale of the helicopters as security agencies, including the Nigerian Air Force, Navy, and the police indicated to purchase them. If those security agencies had said they had submitted various, you know, um, you know, indications. They had gone there to inspect the helicopter, saying that they were interested in buying. But those ones said, no, we are not going to sell. All of a sudden, they found a way and sold it through a private auction company mm -hmm. to private individuals. And now the college does not have helicopters to practice. And so I'm glad that um, this is under investigation. Uh, people are denying left, right, and center. The person who is in charge now said uh, at the time he was in charge, I'm trying to get his name, uh, he said he was, in, uh, the capa he was acting at the time and he was not aware of um, all the processes of selling the helicopters to you know, the private individuals. The college, I believe, needs to have their own helicopter, at least for their practices. We yeah. can't have individuals buying this thing off government, and only God knows how much they sold to them. But I hope that um, the investigation will reveal all of this. What stories do we have in this? Okay, Sorry. so I have the, the major headline. So uh, Senator Ningi is not taking the suspension line down. Mm. Mm. Yes. Did not take it. Line down. He went to get the SAN, Femi Falana, to represent him. Okay. And this, threatening to drag the Senate president, who is also a lawyer, before the LPDC, Legal uh, Practitioners Disciplinary Committee, for flagrant disregard of a high court order mm. and the court of appeal ruling. And he, they, they wrote on his behalf to the Senate president, alleging, by, uh, be accusing the Senate president of being an accuser, a prosecutor, and a judge in his own course on the day um, of sitting where Nigi was confronted by the House, mm. uh, by the uh, Senate House on his allegations in that BBC interview. Of course, in those, at the, on the floor of the House, he had denied making the allegation of a budget pattern of 3.7 trillion. But the House went on to suspend him, and they mm. said that this is a total disregard of his right of freedom of speech, which he had expressed at the BBC interview, and against the House rules of 2018. I'm trying to get what, how that um, act is called, the National Assembly rules of 2018. But, um, they are waiting to reply. Okay, the Legislative Houses Powers and Privileges Act of 2018. They said that it contravenes that, and it also contravenes the law of the, the laws of the land. It uh, uh, contravenes the African Charter on Human Rights and People's Rights. It contravenes our 1999 Constitution, and they are threatening to go to, drag him before the LPDC and go to court wow. if um, he's not re reinstated and all his entitlements paid. Okay. Any other yes, stories? I have a story. I wasn't aware of this story actually, but um, it's about uh, Bianca Honor, the widow of the late chief um, dean, Chukwe Meka Odumego Ojuku. They said that um, she's been in court with a chief Debe Ojuku, seeking to be, and he's, he was seeking to be declared the first son of the late Ikemba of Newi, mm -hmm. and was also asking that a uh, restraining order on Mrs. Bianca be placed from interfering with the administration of the estate of um, Ojuku. So the story in a nutshell is that um, he claimed he was, he is the first son of Ojuku and he was sort of acknowledged as such mm -hmm. by Ojuku. But um, the family says that he was never acknowledged as the firstborn. He claims that um, oh. even associations and different publicly, he was you know he was acknowledged mm -hmm. as the son, but there was never privately and in the will, um, Ojuku's will, did it mention him or wow. acknowledge him as the first son. And because of that, he was also saying that um, being the first son, of course, that entitles enti entitles him to the administration of the of estate the and not Bianca. And um, another person who is, you know, based, based on his own account as the second son of Ojuku, but, you know, all 
um, for all of us, we know as the first son of Ujuku. But so he, he, you know, he, he sadly also passed away in the course of this case, but his two daughters had taken this up. And just um, yesterday was declared that he had lost the case and Bianca oh. remains the you know, administrator, the administrator of the of estate. The estate. Oh. But it made me feel a little sad mm. oh. that, you know, if Why he truly... Why did father recognize him? In the will, it seemed that he may have been recognized but just if you didn't recognize me in the will, you didn't no, recognize me. No, there are different ways. No, if he accepted that, yes, you're my child. And yeah, but then I don't have anything for you. That means you have not accepted. I mean, no, you know, no, no, there are different death, ways. Death doesn't prepare anyone. Exactly. Anybody Who knows when he wrote that? Exactly. Will. I just so I think she should be more magnanimous now to accept her husband's son, son. grandchildren. Yes. And because he, the son has passed. passed. No, no, maybe so he's not, not in accepting. What, I'm, what I think I'm understanding from here is not about accepting that. Provision. That's, yes, what I'm the provision, the provision. That's what I'm saying. Provision. That's what I'm saying. She will. should be able to do that. So she should do be something. a large yeah. hearted. Yeah. She should be, yes, her heart. exactly. And bring everybody together. Yeah, because she's the just as, matriarch now. just as death has given a, a sign to her husband, mm. the death of her, the son in question has given her a sign. Mm -hmm. She might go. And the children, you don't want to leave a beef. Yeah. You know, it divides family. Okay, quickly, 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 our last paper for today, the Vanguard. Uh, NIN SIM linkage. NCC insists non-compliant subscribers must be bad today. Confusion as chairman, directors fight over sack of Eco Disco MD CEO. And Nigeria records second electricity system collapse in 2024. Who has what? I'm taking just Okay, so I'm taking the NIN SIM linkage. NCC insists on asking non-compliant subscribers today. Barring any last minute change of mind, all subscribers with four lines and above whose SIM registration data fail to match their national identity number, NIN, data will be bad today. Um, so, uh, so uh, sorry, excuse me. Yeah, this is as the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC, has confirmed that it will not be reviewing its deadline to bar them today. A reliable source from the commission revealed that the commission's position was promised or was premised on its objective to clean the country's SIM ownership database and ensure that criminals do not take advantage of having multiple unlinked SIMs to carry out their nefarious activities. The source said the commission's management dec decided at a crucial meeting held yesterday to review. So they said that there are some people that have more than 1,000 lines and they are busy using it to do, you know, mm, stop loss activities, activities and also Yoshi. they now want to make sure that they, are, they link them up to their NIN. Mm -hmm. And if so they can trace you can now come down to four lines, you can have more than four lines. What do you need? Okay. I want to say, what do you I need have, four lines for? I but madam, <laughs> ten lines. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not in front now. I want your own. All right, yeah. ladies, thank you so much. Let's take a short break now. When we come back, we look into the top stories of today. Stay with us. Stay tuned, your view will be right back.